Hello friends, welcome. I am so excited that you are here because in this video, I'm kicking off a little mini series where I'm going to focus in on the art and craft of printing. With that in mind, let's dive in. Hi, my name is Chris Orwig. I am a photographer. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery, which means I'm an ambassador for the brand. I'm also an author and an educator. Now, I love capturing portraits. There's something so special about the experience of connecting with someone in a really deep and wonderful way, and then working on the image, and then sending it to the printer, and suddenly having the image take on a whole new life of its own. And as an educator, one of my goals is to try to help inspire and empower others to create their best work, whatever that is and also to live a more creative and meaningful life. Because the trick with photography is that the life that you live and the work that you create, they're so closely connected and intertwined. And so in pursuit of that goal, I'm, also, I'm always searching for hacks, for shortcuts, for techniques, for tips that can help myself and also my students get out of the creative rut or get past the creative plateau. And one of the things that I've discovered is that printing is this amazing way which helps us to kind of fall in love with photography in a whole new way. It helps us to connect with our subjects, with the world, with people, with clients, and so much more. So with that in mind, I've decided to devote some time to creating this little mini-series where I'm talking about the art and craft of printing. Now behind me, obviously, I have these really amazing printers. This is the Epson P7570. It's brand new to me. I love this printer. I also have the Epson P900. But these videos are not going to be about these particular printers. They're not going to be about loading ink or paper or technical specs. Rather, this is more about the creative side of printing, the art, the craft, the concept. Why do we print? Isn't print dead? I mean, does it even matter anymore? I mean, isn't the screen king? I mean, isn't it everything to have these photographs right here so we can swipe and scroll and go through them? Well, yeah, of course. The illuminated screen is amazing. I mean, it is so much fun to view and to work on our images in all of these different ways with our devices, with our computers, whatever it is. But there's this often overlooked side to photography, which is that slowness that stillness, that spaciousness, that the print allows us to experience and to enjoy. And for a long while, I was capturing images and I found that they were just kind of getting lost on my phone and on my computer, on my hard drives. They were somewhere there. I didn't really know where. And of course, I love creating books and I love creating tutorials. And so I would see my images, but I was, I was kind of getting a little bit disconnected with the work. And then I found printing again, and it changed everything. It helped me to kind of reawaken this artistic process and even commit to a photograph and see it all the way through. One of my mentors used to often say that a photograph isn't complete until it's printed. And he didn't say this in an ostentatious way or an obnoxious way, but what he was saying was that there's just something about kind of coming full circle, going from that capture to the post-production work, to the print, there's a sense of completion. There's this experience that is rich, it's deep, it's wonderful, it's mysterious, it's magical even. And so in this little video series, what I wanna do is I wanna share with you some of the things that I've learned which have helped me along the way. And I wanna share this with you so that it will ignite your own fire, so that you can fall in love with your own photography so that you can advance your career, so that you can connect with the world, with people in bigger and better ways. So with that in mind, let's begin. <music> 